So hi all, today we will see this question. The question is smallest window in a string containing all the characters of another string. So we are given two strings S and P. Find the smallest window in the string S consisting of all the characters including duplicates of the string P. That is, we are given two strings S and P. And now in this string S, we have to find a substring which has all the characters of this string P. And including duplicates indicates that if we have two T's in this string, then in that substring we should also have two T's. Return minus 1 in case there is no such window present. So if you are not able to find any window which has all the characters of the string P, then in that case we return minus 1. In case there are multiple such windows of same length, return the one with the least charting index. So let us see this case. So let us take some examples of string. So let it be time. I am taking random substrings. Let it be time top. Let it be time to frac. And let it be to frac. See which could be our answer. So see. We have to check this string. So see, we have T here. So do we have T here? Yes. We have O here. Do we have O here? No. This could not be the answer. Now for this. T, yes. O, yes. C, do we have? No. This could be the answer. T, yes. O, yes. C, yes. This could be my answer. Now in this string, T, yes. O, yes. And C, yes. So these strings are possible. So now which string do we consider? One with the least length. So what is the length of this string? 10. And what is the length of this string? 6. So we will take this string as an answer. If there are multiple strings with the same length, then I will select the one which was occurred first. That is one which has the least starting index. So this is my proof first. Basically what we have to do, what we can do is... We can generate all the possible substrings. Generate all substrings. And now in this, what we'll check for every substring, we can check for this condition. Now, how can we check for this condition? We can use hash map. We will show the frequency for every character for this string P. The frequency for T would be 1, O would be 1, C would be 1. And we can also take one variable count which will tell me how many total characters I have which is 3. So now while traversing any substring I will simply check if this frequency I will simply delete this decrement the frequency for the current character. And now when I am deleting the decrementing the frequency for current character I will simply check if this frequency is 0 now. Because if this frequency is 0 now, that is, I have found this one character completely. So, I can decrement my count also. And I can simply return whether my count is 0 or not. So, if my count is 0, that is, this substring has all the occurrences for the string P. And if the count is not 0, this could not be my answer. And after checking this, while generating all the substring, I can also check for the minimum length. And if this string could be my answer, so I will check for its length. If it is minimum, then I will update it. But what would be the time complexity for this approach? Generating all the substrings will take n square. And for every substring, what you will have to do, you will have to check for this condition, which will take big of n. The time complexity would be almost big of n q. So now we have to try to optimize it. Now see how we can optimize it. Basically, we can use sliding window. So, what we do in sliding window is we make two pointers and both the pointers start from the starting index. Before that, we will do the same thing for this approach also. We will take one hash map. We will show the frequency for every character in P. So, the P would be 1, O would be 1. P would be 1. And also I will maintain the count which will tell me how many distinct characters I have which is 3. 
you can do one more thing that hash map will uh, will increase some time complexity so what you can do is you can use integer array of 256 type and initialize every value with a zero okay so we will not take map we will take the integer array and in this we have stored the frequency for every character and we have maintained one variable count so now what we do in starting window in sliding window we initialize two pointers let that two pointers be i and g and we take both the pointers okay and now what we do we traverse our string using this j pointer till it reaches the length and now see what i have to do if for any current character i am traversing I will simply decrement its frequency because I have visited this. So for every character, I would simply decrement the frequency because I have visited this character. So if this, so see, if this character was present in this string, and if now we are decrementing the frequency, so this would be my positive number only. But if this character was not present in this string p, then its frequency would be 0 and when I am decrementing it, it would be minus 1. So therefore, it will not impact my further calculation. So see, there are two possible cases after decrementing the frequency. One is I have found this character completely, like I have completed all the occurrences for this character. And another thing that could be possible is I have found the entire string P. Now how can I check for these conditions? So, how can I check if I have found this character completely? So, we are keeping a track for the frequency. So, if the frequency of the current character is 0, that means we have found this character completely. So, if we have found one character completely, we will simply decrement our count also because now there is one less distinct character. And now, how can I check if I have found the string P completely? So, my count will become 0. So if my count is 0, that means I found this string P completely. So now, till my count is 0, what I will do? See, if I found this string P completely, so whatever the length for this current substring is, this could be my answer. So what is the length of the substring? Length of the substring is J minus I plus 1. Suppose I am taking the string this. And i is at this, j is at this. So what are the indexes? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. So what is j? 5. What is i? 0. This is 6. So this will give me the length. So if this length is less than my result, then I will update it. Okay. And uh, now we have to try to minimize this slide window. Basically, how we minimize the window in sliding window is we just slide the windows. And if we are sliding the window, that is we will be excluding the starting character. That is, I will be in deleting this starting character. So, if I am now excluding this character, so what I have to do? So, see, when I was excluding this character, I was decremented its frequency. So, now when I am excluding it, what I will do? I will increment its frequency. And now, I have to check for this count condition also. So, if this was a part of a distinct character, then I have to update the count also. How can I check if this was a distinct character? We can simply check after this that if my map of this is 1, that is this was a distinct character, then I have to update my count also. So, this is what we will do in sliding window. Let us try to dry run this and then we will see its code. So see, first we will take one integer array where I will show the frequency for every character. So I am just writing the frequency for the characters that are present and for all the other we have the frequencies as 0. So the T frequency is 1, O is 1 and C is 1. And we also have a variable called count which takes 
हाँ मैं टोटल रिचिंग कैक्टर दैट आई हैव इज थ्री ओके नो व्हाट आई विल डू आई हैव टू पॉइंटर्स आई एंड जे एस जीरो लेट मी राइट दिस सेपरेट लाइन या आई एंड जे एस जीरो आई हैव टू मिनिमाइज द लेंथ लेट मी आंसर लेंथ इनिशियली बी इंट मैक्स ओके and then i have see in this question as an output i have to written the string and not the length so if i have to written the string then i have i can use the s dot substring function the the second parameter is length that we are already calculating where the first parameter is the starting point of the string so we will consider that also for every length we mark it starting index also initialized with zero now what we are doing First, we are at this point. So, whenever we are traversing, what we do, we just decrement its frequency. So now the t's frequency is zero. Now uh, I am at one. I will de decrement its frequency. So when I am decrementing its frequency, I becomes minus one. Now I am at m. So when I am at m, m's frequency is also zero, and it becomes minus one. Now I am at e. E's frequency is also zero, and now it has become minus. Now I am at T. Okay, before that we were also checking that if my uh, character's frequency is zero, that is we have found one distinct character completely. So we will update this also. Okay. So now we are at this T. What we'll do is this T. We will simply decrement its frequency. And now I am at this index O. I will simply decrement its frequency. And if the character's frequency is zero, that is, we have found one character completely. So if I have found my character completely, then my distinct character would be one less. Now we are at six p. So p's frequency would also be minus one now. Now we are at r. R frequency will also be minus one now. Now we are at A. A frequency will also be minus one now. Now we are at C. Okay, wait. It would be zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, yeah. So we are at C. So we will simply decrement its frequency. And if we have Zero. That is, we have found character completely. And now, if my count is zero, that is, now I have found one string completely. So when I found one string completely, what I do? I check for the length. What is the length for this string? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Less than int max. So we will update it. Start would be zero only. And now I will try to minimize this window. So if I want to minimize this window, I will start excluding the characters from the beginning. So my i was zero. So I will try excluding this t character. So if I want to exclude this, what I have to do? I have to plus one, add one to its frequency. So minus one plus one becomes zero. Now we are at I so in, in my count is zero yes so we'll still check for further now I is one I is one so I is was minus one now it becomes zero still the count is zero yes so we'll again check my M M will also become zero still the count is zero so we'll again move further now we are at E E becomes zero still the count is zero so we'll again try to minimize the window so now I am at this T. And now when I'm plus adding one to it, it becomes one. And when the frequency of a character becomes one, that is now I have excluded a character which was a part of a window, but now this is not included in my substring. So now I have to increment the count for this character. So now my count is not zero. So now I will not move further. Now I will check for this t character in the right side of the window. So see. Now my i is zero one two three four 
3, 4. Okay. Now my i is 4. Because now my count is 1. The other is that O, so that is 5. Now we will again check for the J's. Now the J was at 9. See, now the J is at this question T. Okay. Now if I am at this T, what I will do? I will simply decrement it so you can see. This will be 0. And now Okay, when we were doing this, we have updated the length also to this. Okay. So yeah, now it becomes 0 and the count is 0, then we will simply delete the count. Now, now till my count is 0, I will again try to minimize the window. Now what I am trying to minimize the window, now the length will become e wali, O prac, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. So now, I have updated my length because it is lesser than the previous length. And now what I have to do? I have to try minimizing the characters. And now if I am trying to minimize this O, then this will become plus 1 becomes 1. If this character becomes 1, then I have to update the count also. Then again we will try finding the O here. So as you can see, there is no O present here. So this would be only my answer. That is 2 prac. Okay. The starting was this, length was 6. Okay, this was the 6. That is we have to do. I will show you the code also that it will be more clear. So what we are doing, we are first initializing the count variable as 0. Now we are taking one integer array where every character has a frequency 0. Now we are running a loop where we are updating the frequency for all the characters of the string P. So now see, if the frequency of the current element is 0 that is this is my unique character so I will update the count for a distinct character and then I am simply updating the frequency so now we have to check for the window so now for the window I need two parameters one is the starting of the window and another is the length of the window which is marked by result and the starting point will mark by start so I am starting the window so what I am doing I am initializing both the pointers i and j as 0. Now, I am traversing my string s using the j pointer. And whenever I am at any character, I am simply decrementing that frequency. And now, if that frequency becomes 0, that is, I have found that character completely. So, now my count for distinct character would also get subtracted by 1. And now, if my count is 0, that is, I have found the string completely. So, now till it is 0, what I will do, I will check if this current length is less than my answer's length then I can update my answer and start and otherwise I will try excluding the characters from the beginning so if I am trying to exclude the characters from beginning what I have to do while including, while including I was decrementing its frequency so while excluding I will increment its frequency and if the frequency is 1 that is this was the first occurrence of that character so I have to update my count also so now my window will get sided so I press plus and later on we are simply checking if we have found the window or not. So see, we initialize result as int max. So if our result is still int max, that is we haven't found any window. So we are simply returning the minus 1. We have to return the minus 1 as a string. And if this is not equal to int max, that is we have found a window. So we can simply return a substring from the starting point of the current plane. So this will take big of n time complexity and the space complexity will be constant. Big of n means the length for the string s as we are traversing every character in a string s once. So this was about it. If you have any doubts, feel free to comment. Thank you.